What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're back in one of our stay stock streams. Where we're gonna be doing a little bit of trout fishing. But in today's video, we're gonna be celebrating Halloween. So we're gonna be trying to use some of those dark colors. We even got a very special handmade bait from Big Fish Lures. We're gonna try in today's video. But let's not waste any time boys and girls. Let's get in here and let's get started. Alrighty boys and girls. It is Halloween season. Happy Halloween to each and every one of you guys. Hope you're out there enjoying your afternoon. And if you're watching this on Halloween day, well, happy Halloween. But we're gonna grab our Big Fish Lures Halloween special darter jig right here, boys and girls. We're gonna get it rigged up. Setting on a black dart head jig, a nice orange body. Perfect for today's Halloween special. We're gonna hand toss a simple fisherman's knot on this little sugar booger right here. We've got our very first fish of the day spotted just out here in front of us, hanging out in the shallows. All right, got her all rigged up. Let's go ahead and nip that line, drop it in her pocket. All right, go ahead and wet that fly real quick. Bomb her upstream with this little fish right here. Let's just see what she thinks. Oh yeah, she reacted. Might have to sneak over there and drop it right in front of her nose. Alrighty, boys and girls, we switched on up to that solid black creek bug. No takers on that old orange. Big fish lures. We're going to throw out the old creek bug here, drift it through the run too, and see if we can't get any of these fish to react. We've probably got 10 to 20 fish in this one little run, and absolutely none of them are interested in feeding. Mm, there was a little nibble. Had a limb stuck over my line, so I didn't want to set. Mm mm mm. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him on, wow. Gosh, did that take a while? Yes, it did. Well, we got us one, thanks to those little stinkers. Looks like just a little bitty, teeny tiny rainbow, guys. She's got the little stinkers down there pretty deep, but it looks like we can reach on in, grab them and pop them out. There we go, beautiful. Well, guys, we tried our Solid black in our orange colors, but no dice. Switched up to that old faithful little stinkers, and there we go. First fish of the day on. Little bitty rainbow, guys. Heck yes. Yeah, sounds about right. There he is. There he is. That one was on the white little stinkers. Another rainbow. Might just be a day to change up colors on them. Give them something different to look at. There's fish number two in the net of the day right there, guys. Just let her go. Another one on. Nice one too. Nice, healthy looking little rainbow. Slide her in the net. There's three rainbows out of this one little run. Have to constantly change up our baits and presentations, but we're getting some love, guys. It took throwing those old 10 millimeters to get it started. Heck yeah, let's let her go on back. Happy and healthy. No brook so far. And no love on our Halloween special baits, but we are adapting to the situation and we're getting it done, guys. Heck yeah. Got him. Got him on. There we go. There we go, guys. Another beautiful little rainbow. On those 10 millimeter little stinkers. Wow. The old egg bites working out for us. Cannot complain with that, guys. Anytime you can get them to take something you've got with you, that's a good thing. There we go. Quick removal right there. Absolutely gorgeous little rainbow trout. All right, I'm gonna keep throwing this white color as long as they're willing to take it. It's hard to believe they wouldn't take our creek bug or that awesome big fish lure mini jig. Well, gosh, guys, they are all about the 10 millimeter today, that's for sure. They're liking that bigger egg, just a single egg drifting through there. And my suspicion is, if I'm being completely honest, 
is some of these fish are beginning to spawn at the hatchery. It's that time of year, water temperatures are cooling, nights are getting shorter, and these fish are reacting to that, guys. There's another one. There is another one. Oh, quick release right there. Can't complain with that, guys. We love to get them in the net, but if we can let them go untouched, that's even better. Heck yeah. But like I was saying, guys, I believe these old fish are beginning to act out and want to spawn a little bit there in the holding pens. The females are releasing some eggs into the water, letting all the other fish feed on them. And these fish are starting to target in on that cylindrical shaped bait coming through the water. There was another one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm thinking that might be why they're hitting our little stinker so well today. Going ahead and rig him up again, poke a new hole. Slide him over there just like that. See if we can get another one to react. See if we can get them to look at it at all. Nope, doesn't look like it. There we go. Oh, another one's kicked. Oh gosh, we are not having the best luck getting them in the net, but gosh, are we ever getting them to bite? Can't complain guys, at least we're figuring out this whole puzzle. Starting to get things figured out. Got him, got him. Second cast on the speckle pup, fish on. Wow, it's fighting hard down there too. There we go, guys. Got one on the old speckle pup worm. Another beautiful little rainbow. Still haven't found our brook trout. Not too sure how many they've put in here. But it's looking like we're getting mainly rainbows. Quick little pop loose right there for that little beauty. Another nice one. Let's let her go on back happy and healthy. Heck yeah, guys. Looking like we're finally picking this old pool apart. Catching some of these old stubborn trout. Having to switch up back and forth and back and forth. And throwing pretty much everything but the kitchen sink. But hey, we're getting it done. Oh yeah. Well, man, have at her. I'm going to move on down. Try to find something else going on. This old hole was good to me, though. Well, guys, I have no idea what's going on with these fish but they are not reacting to anything they have no interest in feeding whatsoever i'm assuming that all these fish have been hit pretty hard here lately either this morning or last night but we're going to filter through here i'm going to try out some 10 millimeter little stinkers that's what we found success on earlier today go ahead and bomb us out of cast right over there with that 10 millimeter pink little stinker just let it bottom bounce through there Got him. Very first cast with the 10 millimeter. We got a fish on, guys. Heck yeah. Let's give her the old trout flip. Right on into the net. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, guys. Looks like that 10 millimeter is just going to be the trick of the day on our old Halloween special. Calm down, calm down, calm down. We're going to set you free, buddy. Plenty of energy in this little fish left. Heck yeah, guys. Got to give her the big fall. There she goes. Happy and healthy. That's one thing I really don't like about fishing in the Roanoke area too much is you're often fishing from high banks and you have to toss the fish back. But in most cases, they go back happy and healthy. Heck yeah, guys. I'm going to hand drop that 10 millimeter right back in that same little run. We got some, some attention on that first cast. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, yep, we sure did. Missed her, though. Managed to miss her. Got him. There we go. Give him the old trout flip as well. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. Alrighty guys, last cast in this little run. We're gonna move on up the creek a little ways and try to find ourselves some more, but so far these old trout have been playing trick or treat with us for quite the while. It's very hard to trick them, but when you can, you can get one to bite. So we're just gonna have to pack it on in and 
keep moving on down the creek. We managed to get a couple out of this run, but these fish are very, very finicky and pressured hard. We've had multiple anglers come up around us while we're fishing. So we're just gonna go on ahead and pack it in, slide on up the creek and see what else we can find. But after yeah. that, I came here, I threw my minnows, everything I had, my power bait, and I couldn't get them bite nothing. These fish are, these fish are super pressured. See, he was all he was thinking about it. He nosed it twice. Here comes one looking again. See, looking at it, looking at it. Got him. Got him that time. Wow, that's a pretty one right there too. He's got it. Oh, come back. Got him. There we go. He did too. He turned right around and came straight back to it. Man, stinking tastic. There he is. No, big old rainbow. He bit that old creek bug. Stay in the water, stay in the water, stay in the water. Now come on up here. There we go. Beautiful. So yeah, got that creek bug pegged right where you want it in the roof of the mouth. There we go. There he is, by golly. I gotta get down here on this rock somehow without falling busting my butt. Yeah, 10, 10 millimeter yellow. Yeah, you do. Now that you've uh, now that you got a pocket full of them there, you'll be wanting to use them some more. There he is. Yep. It's that egg, man. It's that little stinker. I'm telling you. Well guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's little video. We tried our best to use our Halloween style baits to catch fish, but them old fish had some tricks in store for us and we had to get a little bit creative. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite late October, early November trout bait is. Get it if you can boys and girls and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. Most importantly, be safe and tight lines.